Hey guys, it's John Ward with the Appalachian Channel and I, welcome to another edition of Barndo Life. And look what I have. I have a 39 and a half inch by 19 and a half inch stainless steel sink. Come from Vivor and Vivor has many different products that you can choose from. They have all kinds of tools and home appliances. They're a huge uh, source to come to find things that you normally wouldn't find in a regular retail outlet. And uh, this is something now, you're not gonna find this in a regular retail store, but this is something I wanted for my barn dominium for my, uh, right now I'm gonna have kind of an outdoor kitchen for the summer. And uh, I'm gonna hook this up for you all here real quick, temporarily, it's not gonna be right here because this is my laundry room. But I have a drain over here and I have my water hook up over here. All my water comes up to the ground, runs to my motor home, to my washing machine, to my outside water hose and now it's going to run to this little sink so yeah i had to buy a few parts to hook up the drain we needed a p-trap uh, we had to reduce down this is the drain pipe that comes with it it also comes with a really nice um, uh, sink drain here it also even has a little tray down in there to catch stuff check that out comes with all that and your seals to put that together. So we're gonna stick that all in there. But I did have to go down to my local Ace Hardware today, down to Smith Ace Hardware down on Central Avenue in La Follette. I've been going there ever since I was a little bitty boy. And it's been there for almost 100 years. So it's a locally owned Smith Ace Hardware. And I went in and I took Sherman this drain hose and I said, hey Sherman, I've got to connect this into a two inch pipe. And I took him this adapter or this uh, braided water hose right here and I said I've got to go from this to a water hose fitting. I'm not got a regular fitting that I'll have like with a cutoff valve when I actually wire or install the plumbing. So I just want to temporarily hook it to a water hose and so he got me this adapter and it screws in right here and we'll screw those this one on in and this one's already screwed on and i've been working with this just a little bit trying to figure this out so it comes with all these pieces here and you've kind of got to thread everything together just perfectly to get the sink to go in and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with putting the, the faucet on and i'm going to go ahead and run these pieces up through here and i know that this piece is going to have to go down and then i've got two uh, and i'm going to tighten this piece up here as tight as it can go and I think I can do this by hand tightening now this first one's going to be a little bit easier for me just to hand tighten in here and it's got some really nice o-rings on the end of these seals right here uh, at the end of these hoses and so that one was pretty easy to put in this one's going to be a little harder because I can't turn the faucet like I did on the last one because I have this other braided one hooked in oh but I got it so there we are go right down and right in and hopefully if I've got this lined up right we're going to tighten this right up down here all right so I've got the sink uh, faucet through here it's got this little o-ring that goes in there and then I'm gonna this is gonna all just be hand tightened and I'm not going to use any Teflon tape or anything on the fittings or glue on the drain pipes right now because I'm gonna take all this back apart uh, when I move and get my wall built and plumb this in permanently. But I, that's going to be maybe a few months from now. And so right now I really need some water out here to wash off utensils and a few things to have a, a way to run some water to uh, and then have a drain for it. So this is going to be handy and maybe we can get a hot water heater for it and actually have hot water on it and that'd be really neat. So right there, see I'm hand tightening that. There we go. That is... I'm going to set it up here about where I want it. I'm going to hand tighten it. There we go. Now, I made me a little bitty short water hose here. And the way this came out, I put a female in. I cut these and bought these adapters at Ace Hardware also. It's got a female on both sides. So I'm just going to plug up. I'm going to install one side. I'm not for sure which one's hot or cold. But it really doesn't matter because I've only got cold right now and yes this would be better if we had some teflon tape on here i know there's going to be comments john you didn't use teflon tape but if we're going to take this back off it'll be all right guys believe me so on this end right here if i don't plug this one up when i turn the cold water on it's going to run back down the hot water side so chairman down at ace hardware found me that little cap right there and that's going to go on there and so now here let's turn some water on Okay guys, this right here is where I'm going to turn it on and I made my own connection with some uh, scrap water hose and the whites usually used for drinking water. Uh, I've got my connect, I, 
I bought replacement ends at, at, down at the hardware store there. Um, I'm always replacing these things. So really, uh, I think we're going to be okay. I've got it screwed in. I just hand tighten all this. There's no Teflon tape. So I'm going to turn the water on now and hopefully don't have a leak. Oh, all right. No water. We're doing good. So we're coming through. This is going to be my hot water when we hook it up. So let's go up here and check this. I don't have my drain in yet, but I'm just going to use this five gallon bucket right here and let's see what we got going on. See if it's working. Oh yeah. Check that out guys. All right. So I'm going to get that out of there and now let's look right down in here into the drain itself. We have, uh, this is really neat, the little basket. So we've got two different seals here and I'm trying to figure out which one goes where. That one looks a little small right there, so that must go underneath. And this is gonna be the one that goes right here, see that? Usually sometimes you'd use plumber's putty for this, but uh, I think that seal's gonna hold it good and it's got an extra rubber seal that's gonna go on the bottom. We're gonna hand tighten that and then Let's see, this will tighten up there. This came with the sink, this drain hose. So I'm gonna reach under there and I'm gonna tighten this up and put this on here. Okay, I've got that hand tightened there. Now this has gotta go on. But I just dropped my little black seal when I dropped down here. There it is. Okay, so you got to put this washer in there, guys. If you don't, it's going to leak. So here we go. We're going to hand tighten this. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to hold the sink itself. Okay, now. This is a what's called a P-trap. This is one unit here. This is designed to be hand tightened. Sherman got me this piece here. And, and I'm not going to put any glue on it right now because this is going to come back off. And these are expensive pieces. And I'm not going to glue them up just for temporary. Um, there's a little alignment lines right here. And I'm not for sure. I'm not a plumber. So I won't be doing all the plumbing on this. Uh, I can do certain things, but I'm going to get this done. I'm going to make sure this job on the main part of the building is done right. So I'm going to hire somebody to do plumbing. Okay, so P-trap. No, no, I didn't do that right, I don't think. So let me look at it over here. So we got these pieces here that's going to go with it. Let's go back over here to the drain and look at this one more time. Okay, yeah, I got it upside down. So I'm going to have to take it back out. And boy, I don't think it's going to need no glue, but we'll know here in a minute. Because once you get in there wrong, it's a booger to get out. But it'll come out. You just got to keep working on it. There we go. So, okay. This is what we need. We need this P-trap, what they call P-trap, to keep the sewer gases from coming back up. So water will stay right here in this. And the water will keep the gases from coming back up and giving a sewer odor. So we gotta have that. Now, he gave me this piece is gonna go into here. And eventually when we put this in permanently, I will use this permanently uh, somewhere and we will put glue on it, guys. So I know some people's freaking out saying you're not gluing it, but this is not where this sink goes. But this sink can be used in many places. Utility room, a garage, uh, a room where you prep food like I know a lot of people let me see if I can find my screwdriver. A lot of people do canning. This would be perfect if you did canning and you had a room on your porch, even outside on a porch somewhere, guys. And you can hook this up to your water hose outside, okay? You don't have to plumb into your main thing. You can do just like I did right here. If you wanna put this on your outside porch to cook with this year for grilling, just do what I did right here. Use a splitter on your water hose, split off, run to your cold water. If you need hot water, that's a little bit different thing, but I'm not going to need hot water right now. Then as far as your drain, this is really considered gray water. 
just washing your hands or whatever. So that sometimes doesn't have to necessarily go right back into your drainage system. You can sometimes run gray water in certain states onto the ground. So this is just washing your hands or whatever. So, okay, so we got a drain hooked up here, I think. All right, it should be full, and I have no leaks as of right now. Maybe a little leak right over here that I need to tighten up this clamp. I think we're gonna be okay. Let me turn this off. I like this little drain basket. This is Vivor, right here's their name. And uh, in the description above this video, or below it, depending on how you're looking at it, it's probably below it on YouTube. And uh, you're gonna find a link Click on that link, that's going to take you to this, and you're also going to find a promo code there in the description for 5% off. So I think this sells for about $239, and they have some variations of it, a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, left-handed. Let's go over here to the computer just a second, and uh, let's look at their website. Right here is their website. Here's some of the different uh, sinks. I believe this is the one I've got right here. But they got a variety of different sinks. And uh, gosh, they just got so many products. So these are all different types of sinks. Uh, here's a stainless steel sink here and here. But if you use that link, I believe no matter what you do, no matter what you order, we're gonna still make an affiliate commission if you order something else besides that sink. Uh, racks, organizational stuff. Oh gosh, this, here's uh, faucets herself. Some really nice faucets. So guys, they got a lot of, uh, they got a lot of neat stuff there. Um, Make sure to leave us a comment. Tell us what you think about it. Uh, this is gonna be my utility room right here for those that's asking about what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do in here. Over here's gonna be my bathroom. And upstairs, you can see these windows up here. Uh, that's gonna be the bedroom upstairs and there'll be a half bathroom up there. And this sink will set permanently right over here somewhere once I know where my stairs are gonna go. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Thanks for supporting the channel. I know a lot of people don't like review videos, but hey, I think this is a really cool video about this stainless steel sink. I like it, and I give it two thumbs up for Vivor. Um, hope to see you on the next video, guys. Leave me a comment. I'm John Moore with Appalachian Channel. Love you guys. Bye-bye.